Hello everyone, welcome back to IFRS 15 and we're just going to take a look at a full example on the five steps showcase that is uh, actually identifying the contract, uh, then performance obligations, transaction price, allocating the price as well as recognizing revenue. So our question says, on 1st November 2008, hybrid financial consultants receives an order from a customer for a computer as well as 20 months of technical support. So from here, you can learn one thing. First of all, it receives an order from a customer for a computer. Computer can be taken as delivering a computer can be taken as one performance obligation as well as 20 months technical support. This could be the second uh, performance obligation. And then we're told hybrid deliver the computer and transfers its legal title to the customer on that day. By delivering the computer, actually a uh, hybrid uh, is entitled to recognize revenue because a computer actually is, 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 is uh, include, incorporates a performance obligation satisfied at a point in time. At just one point, you deliver and everything is done rather than actually a uh, performance obligation actually delivered over time. Like uh, this 20 month is technical support. All right, and we are told here that the customer paid $500 on 1st November. So this is a transaction price. And we are told the computer normally sells for $450 and the technical support for $150. Now you can find something like this. You, are, you have been given the standalone selling prices of $450 for computer and technical support for $150. If you sum them, you obtain $600, but the actual transaction a contract price was 500 meaning that there was a discount provided due to actually a provision of a bound of goods together required illustrate the five steps as by for 15 for the period ending the first december 2008 so to, to, to tackle a question like this you should know well all the five steps step one identify the contract is there a contract or not of course, we say that there is an agreement between hybrid and its customers for the provision of goods and services. There's an agreement here because uh, we are told hybrid financial consultant receives an order from a customer. A customer brings an order, it's like the customer brings an offer and then hybrid delivers. So hybrid actually responds. So hybrid accepts an offer and therefore an agreement is made. Now coming down here, they, they agree that uh, on, a, on a consideration to be received. So actually legal title being transferred. So it shows that there is a contract. So whenever uh, there is something that shows you that there's no contract, for example, maybe the transaction lacks commercial substance, you should know that there is no contract and you cannot recognize revenue for something on which there is no contract. All right, the second step, as I said before, identify separate performance obligations. So you, you should know the performance obligations that are separate, of course, because if, if, the, if they are not separate, actually you have, you have to take it as a single performance obligation. There are two performance obligations from the question that is supply of a computer as well as supply of technical support. So this is what you have to know. And after identifying performance obligation, you know how to, uh, to determine the transaction price. And we are given here is $500. So determine the transaction price. And the transaction price uh, actually equals to $500 like this here. All right, after here now, you have to know how much of this transaction price relates to the computer on performance obligation and how much relates to the provision of technical support. So this is what follows. And we usually use the standalone selling prices to do this. So that's why we say allocate the transaction price, allocate the transaction price to the performance obligations. So you should know out of the transaction price of 500, what amount should be attributed to computer and what amount to technical support. So based on standalone selling prices, we are clearly told that our 450 was for a computer and 150 was for uh, technical support. So if you sum them 450 plus 150, 
we get 600. And so to obtain the price for a computer, we just take 450 over 600 multiplied by the contract price and we end up with $375. So this should be allocated to the sale of a computer and 125, which is the rest of 500 times 150 over 600 to technical support. It's just like that. Or uh, you could have done it this way. You could have said here, you could have said like this, uh, build the computer, actually uh, we have 500 and if we deal with technical support, technical support you have, all right, sorry. If you deal with the computer, it's not 500, it's 450, 450. And this gives you a total of 600. This is the total. You have your total at 600, like this. And so you just have to ask yourself on, what, on how to go further, how to proceed. Because it's very clear that if you go to the standalone prices, standalone selling prices, We are given something. So just ask yourself, the total price, total price equals to 600. But when speaking of the computer, let's start with the computer. When speaking of the computer, it was 450. So you have to ask yourself, if you take the transaction price, total transaction price here was actually uh, 500. So you ask yourself, how much would be attributed to the computer? You could just do this. And then you have to cross multiply. So you have 500 times 450 over 600. And this would give you 375. So this would be the transaction price actually uh, attributed to the computer. And the rest would be attributed to technical support. And lastly, we say recognize revenue when or as the performance obligation is satisfied. So this is the last step. And now for the computer, you are told that compute controls transferred. So whenever you satisfy your performance obligation, you can recognize revenue. We are told here that hybrid deliver the computer. Here we are told hybrid deliver the computer. And by hybrid delivering the computer and transferring the title to the customer on that day, that means the performance obligation has been satisfied at a point in time. But after that, remember that we are told uh, actually to deal uh, with the, the situation, the year ending 31st December 2018. As technical support, since it is, it is to be uh, provided over 12, over 20 months is time, and actually it's, it is started on 1st November, 1st November to 31st December equals to two months. So actually only two months have elapsed since the contract was entered into. All right, so here, control over the computer has been transferred to the customer. So the full allocated price of 375 for supply of computer should be recognized as revenue on 1st November 2008. So regardless of whether you have been paid or not, you just have to recognize revenue. If not paid, you would have to credit revenue and then debit trade receivables. If you have been paid, you'd have to credit revenue and then debit actually are uh, cash or bank, all right? What of the technical support? The technical support here, we say that the technical support is provided over time. And so revenue allocated to this should be recognized over time. So it could be over time or it would be at a point in time. Now in the year ended 31st December 2008, only two months have passed. So if you look here, that 125, Remember 125 was the price allocated to the, this one, 125, this was the price allocated to the technical support and only two months have passed. So you could just take a look at 125 relates to 20 months, relates to 20 months. How much would relate to two months here? And then you'd have to cross multiply and take two over 20 times 125, ending up with 12.5. So this means that out of 125, 
price that relates to the provision of technical support, only 12.5 uh, has should be recognized for this year. So you would only recognize 12.5 and the rest could be defined. So this is all about how to deal with this. And that's why we say a revenue of 12.5 should be recognized for the provision of technical support. So in case uh, this hasn't been done, you should, you should well know that 12.5 should be revenue and the rest should be in the far under deferred income. You could call it deferred income. So that's all and thank you very much.